Hey, what's going on everybody? Rogers Base here with another episode of my Hunter Hunter watch through. And before we get started, I really quickly want to give a shout out to my sponsors this week over at ExpressVPN. I love them. If you're not already using them, ExpressVPN is the best and most secure way to download or stream your content from anywhere in the world at any time. I heavily relied on ExpressVPN throughout the course of my Japan trip because as many of you guys know, the final season of Game of Thrones was airing while I was in Japan. I didn't want to be spoiled, but unfortunately the show was raging locked. I couldn't watch it unless I was in North America. Well, thankfully, using ExpressVPN, I was able to very easily change my region from Japan to Los Angeles, click to that connect button, and then I was good to go, and I was able to watch Game of Thrones weekly. It was fantastic. And then when I got back to North America, now I just changed my region from LA to Japan, and now I get early access to all of the shows that drop weekly on Japanese streaming services that otherwise we have to wait months for the final season to drop on North American streaming services. I love it. Keeps all my information secure. If I'm using public Wi-Fi to access my bank account or something like that and encrypts all my internet data, it's great. It's less than $7 a month and you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So protect your internet privacy today. Use ExpressVPN. And if you want to find out how to get three months of ExpressVPN free, make sure to click that link down in the description below, expressvpn.com slash rogersbase. Once again, that is Express vpn.com slash rogers base click there and find out how to get three months free thank you once again to the team at expressvpn for sponsoring me today without any further ado let's watch some hunter hunter so these are going to be phantom troop episodes it's been a while since we've seen them i'm excited to see everybody again finks and shalnark and tangela and killua's brother that looks like a sister i'm ready I almost didn't recognize that that was uh, Finks, right? Have we ever heard him actually talk? That wasn't the voice that I was expecting. What the heck is that thing? A few days ago, this was an ordinary human. Oh, I never get sick of the Phantom Troop theme. Why'd he take his cool hat off? He looked awesome. Before the end of the day, we'll exterminate the so-called queen. Well, I got bad news for you, Finks. Oh, wait. Oh, this? Oh, right, the... Oh, I'm stupid. Bro, the new queen, of course. They're probably talking about Zazan. Is that Zazan? I'm trying to listen. Oh! Oh! Zazan. She looks queen-like to me right now. Look at that. She's got earrings and a silk palace. What? Her shoe glows. Sexy stinger of rebirth. With my queen shot, I shall control the world. <laughs> I mean, that guy didn't look too sexy to me. He looked pretty messed up. Gonna be good. Levi and Vacuum Girl. This dude again, Pike, right? <sighs> he chose the right squad though. If all the Chimera Ants had to split up, I'd probably join Zazan's squad too. I'm shocked I remember his name. <laughs> he just scurries off. My mother's greatest misfortune was that she never experienced the joy of combat. That's true, we never saw her fight, did we? Oh, here comes Master Mummy. Oh, Master Mummy. Clearly he didn't rip him to shreds, so I hope we get to see what he looks like underneath it then. You're no fun. Let me hold you. Now, I recognize this Chimera Ant, but it's been a couple weeks. Who did this guy kill again? Whoa, all right. He has holes in his body? Ugh. Oh, I don't like this. He just has open holes all throughout his body. This, act, this really bothers me. This reminds me of like those, I can't look at lotus flowers. You know how lotus flowers have the little holes in them? Or like beehives? He looks like Tapu Coco from- Yo! Ho! That thing's name is Pell? Like the bird from One Piece that lived a nuclear blast? For an ant- Oh! Ooh! Ho <laughs> ho This is a new remix of their, of their theme! It's like a battle theme! Bum 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 Ho 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 ho! Sorry Spider Monkey, here he comes! He looks like he's using Gon's attack! I get a free attack now, right? Oh! Karmic loop. Every time I wind my arm, my punch gets stronger. Wind up! I would I'd save Shalnark. The, the guy with the holes in his body is a little too much for me. Autopilot on. What? Enemy identified. Eliminating now. <laughs> Whoa! He blew his arms away and split his stomach open. One hit! Those hyper beam blew him away. Rest in peace, pal. You might have lived when you survived that nuclear blast in one piece. But Hunter Hunter ain't one piece. You're dead. Using the fan, he sliced it all up. The rope is made of steel. And my fan is made of paper, so what? 
<laughs> this animation is so nice! With the fan flipping the paper around and controlling it. It reminds me of the paper things from Spirited Away. That really messed up Haku the dragon. The paper sliced his arm off. That is a main paper cut. Wait, what? Skull umbrella? Levi, here we go. These Titan fighting skills I should- Oh my! Oh my goodness. Wasn't expecting that. Sazan has grown since the last time we saw her. She's getting all that nourishment to birth some babies. Next time I'll rip you apart. I don't think there's gonna be a next time. He can control sound? What? Dude, it's ripping apart the whole- the whole castle. What the- He summons a planet?! Using sound? Talk about overpowered. What the heck? He crushed him. Look at him. Crushed to death. An appropriate death for an insect. <laughs> All right, Luigi. The Phantom Troop fight to save their home. Meteor City from the Chimera Ants. That flew. I thought we we're going to see the end of the fights during this episode. I thought they were going to make quick work of all these Chimera Ants. All right, episode 97, here we go. Zazan, wow, that fan service shot. All right, Phaeton, let's see what you can do. I mean, she's kind of holding her own compared to all the other Chimera Ants. He really does look like Levi there. Even the way he was holding his sword. Oh, music's kicking in, baby. Let's do it. Is reeling in the Luigi's Mansion, girl? I'm stuck on defense. He's fast and tw has twice as many limbs. Now I'm certain. The moment I think I'm rid of it, she pulls that vacuum cleaner out of nowhere again. Her power lets her pull out and store objects at will. Very interesting. And I can't catch her with my sticky webs. This girl's good. <laughs> oh, did he run out of, did he run out of webbing? Huh? Love shower. She says, uh oh, there may be no way out of this one. He seemed to be enjoying shoot a, <laughs> he seemed to be enjoying shooting that out of his stomach a little too much, I think. Even Bihorn Sama, strongest amongst us, couldn't snap my webs. All right, Spider-Man. It got lighter. Whoa. All right, well, I it was Pike's time. It was Pike's time. He's done a lot of bad stuff, so I'm glad he's finally, oh, wait, what's this? She's naked? Oh, she ditched her clothes. She widened an opening in my web to slip through while protecting her skin. I'm glad they're showing us this. <laughs> Boop. Slid right out. She just left everything in the web. Oh, and it's, that's cool. That's cool. They're leaving it all on the table. I won't mention that his anus twitches twice before he fires. So that is his butt. No more booty twitches for Pike. It's all over. Suck every let. So this is how it ends for Pike. Whoa. Whoa! She all the little holes from earlier, they're sucking all the blood out! That's gotta be horrifying! Stop it! Yo, wait! You little- She's hitting you with the suck! It's over! <laughs> See you later! I have to stop the blood loss. Oh, he's gonna cover the holes with his webbing? How is that? Now you can't suck my blood. They're really making his death goofy like this? Whatever, it's what he gets for killing Poco. I mean, he didn't technically kill him, but still. No, he did actually, he did. Because if it wasn't for him, Poco never would have died. He killed him via proxy. That's just horrifying looking. He's been a goof since the beginning? That's true. Once a goof, always a goof. Wow, really? Picks up the vacuum and then boom, boom. <laughs> they couldn't help themselves. They're like, she's in a sports bra, we gotta do it. By covering your body with the webs, couldn't you have stopped the bleeding? I guess we're both pretty stupid. That's what I thought he was gonna do. I even said that earlier. I guess he was just too dumb. F in the chat for Pike. F in the chat for Pike. He was a goofy little chimera ant, but he probably won't be missed. Tell me why the Zoldic theme is just as hype as the Phantom Troop theme. Phaeton is fainting? And how can he leap from that position while attacking? He's not scared. He's on a completely different level. You're a Zoldek. You should be used to this by now. Wait, did she pick up the remainder of her clothes? Why are they all just standing there? Go help him. What are you doing? Like, I understand we need a one-on-one -on -one because all the other fights were one-on-one. -on -one. But still, they can help him. They can't interfere. I mean, they should help him. Why not? I get he wants to fight alone, but still, they can end this so quick. Oh, she stopped him with the scorpion tail. Did Kingsman get the idea for deadly umbrellas? From Hunter Hunter? I feel like they did. I feel like Kingsman ripped off Hunter Hunter. That straight up is an umbrella out of Kingsman. He got her right in the eye. My precious Cezanne. Did he hurt you? Oh, she's going all out. Whoa, what? I don't look right. She ripped her tail off? Got a butt shot, of course. A lot of fan service during the... She's growing another one? Wait, 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 wait. She's changing form. Cezanne? What happened to you? She left herself wide open. And I'm not nice enough to overlook that. All right, Levi. Right in the nape of the neck, too. Look at that. Same as Attack on Titan. Oh, but it broke the sword. Okay, Zazan. His clothes are gone now, too. Everybody's clothes are getting ripped off. So they're already planning for his loss. But if even one of the legs of the spider gets broken off, why well, we've gone through this whole thing. They can't just let him lose. Something is wrong with them. Clearly. Little Zoldek's like, I want to go back to my family of assassins. This is too much for me. I was naive. I thought I could become number two in no time. You just joined. All for the sake of retrieving my brother, no matter how long it takes. 
Dude, look at his arm. There you go. All right, tag out. Tag out at this point. Whoa. Know your place. What's... Now that is cool looking aura. You're going to get caught in it. Wait, they're getting out of here? When he snaps, he's going to hit everything around him. So this is like his final smash attack. He broke the smash ball. He's going all out. The attack has other forms? Oh yeah, this is it for Zazan. Look, Zazan, you gave us some great fan service. I appreciated you being part of the Chimera and Ark. But clearly, this is going to take you out. I salute you, Zazan. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Avita Zen. He got a costume change too. He's looking like a beast. When did he put that on? Now I return your pain. Wait, this is like cool. Does he have a power like Kuma? Feel the heat. Pain Packer. On this is literally Kuma from One Piece. He's taking his pain and he's giving it back to her. Oda stole the idea from Hunter x Hunter. Oda, here I thought you were making burnt by the sun. Oda's a hack. Look at this. Zazan's not making it out of this. Zazan's not going to be standing here saying nothing happened. Yo! This music! Praise the sun, baby! Praise the sun! I'm sorry, Cezanne. You don't look cute anymore, though, so I don't care about you. Let the sun rain down upon you. Throat too scorched to even breathe? You can try to run, but it's hopeless. Dude! Phaetons! Make use of that tough body you're so proud of. Dude. Burning the hive. I am the queen. I cannot die here. I'm glad they gave Cezanne a good death, though. This is... <laughs> Dude, the laughing! It's raining sunshine. <laughs> How unfortunate. Wow. I am thoroughly enjoying this little Meteor City side story. So it's over then. Pike is gone. Pell is gone. Zazan is gone. They're all gone. Oh, heck no. What? Oh, they're going to let them suffer? I don't do mercy killings. Attack me. You were living in this place, right? Have the guts to defend it in the end. <laughs> He's like, look, man, I'll, I'll come at you, but... I mean, Zazan really did some damage, but they avenged him. They avenged the people in Meteor City. Nothing else for me to do. Fink's kind of look like Tank Top Master from One Punch Man. Come on, stop chucking boulders at us, dude. We're just messing with you. The Phantom Troop has saved Meteor City from the Chimera Ant Invasion. Bro, the way the music swells, this gyro theme? Good lord. <sighs> Meanwhile, Gon and Killua are preparing to infiltrate the Republic of East Gorto. That was an excellent episode. Finally, the Hunter Association makes its move. I mean, they have nine days, though. So I feel like they got time. I mean, the way they're describing the country, it really does sound like North Korea. Gon's like, yeah, yeah, I've watched the news. I always feel for Gon whenever you see the steam coming out of his ears whenever these kinds of things happen. Because I absolutely feel the same way. It's like during his APR fight where he's trying to... <laughs> he's trying to explain APR financing with, uh, with Knuckle. It's like, it's too much, it's too much. They're amassing a Nen army. I love the little images they used. Yeah! This is why Nen is a secret. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Because if everybody knew it could just activate when you punch somebody with it, then everybody would want it. And when everybody has superpowers, no one's super. I don't know about that, Killua. Promise me you won't make a move. Not even if people are getting killed right before your eyes. Promise. Okay, so this is clearly going to become important a little bit later. So who is that talking right now? I don't want to fight both of them at once. And I definitely don't want to fight the silver-haired one. Just watching him walk, I can tell he's strong. I bet he's going to look back and Killua is going to be gone. Oh, the chameleon! I forgot about the chameleon. Where's the koala bear, though? <laughs> Listening to the lacrimosa on the radio? Hey! Krolo? You'll really transport my family and me to another country? Oh, no, it's not. That's kind of weird they're playing this song. Howard Stern and Night Eye are back. I feel like this is a sign that something real bad's about to happen, though, if this song is playing in the background. He looks happier than we've ever seen him before. Oh, never mind. Right as I said that, he starts frowning. You talk like it doesn't concern you. The wine you're drinking and the room you stand in were earned by following him. That we've committed. Yo, calling him out. <laughs> Morel's like, I'll play nice. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's standing dangerously close to that window. I feel like when all is said and done, Morel's just going to be like, yeah, anyways, uh, you were a jerk too. Bye. Push, <laughs> push him off the ledge. Is he biting a lollipop? Don't do that. Lollipops are meant to be licked. I genuinely thought for a brief second, because they were talking about him last episode, that shoot was Nobunaga. For a brief second. Like, obviously, I know that shoot. I know Knuckle and Shooter are working together. But it's still weird. 
They really do look very similar. Man, I'm ready for the king fight. I am so ready for it. I know it's going to be good. I'm ready for the royal guard fights. So far, one of the best, though, was Ramat. Uh-oh. Whoa, what's happening? Whoa! Gone versus the genie from Aladdin? Oh, it's a giant snake. Let me show you how snake-like I can be! It sounds like he has a one-piece laugh. I use my strong tail as a spring to propel me among the trees. Bellamy! Is Gone gonna pull- Oh no, I thought he was gonna pull a Luffy and just, boom, knock him down in one hit. It's literally Bellamy, though. Oh, his eyes are looking- Eh! Oh! <laughs> his eyeballs popped out of his sunglasses. What? There we go, Gone. I'm the one who caught you. Boom! He doesn't even need to activate John Ken. He just one hit. Knocked him out. <laughs> he has snakes genes, so he should be able to go 10 days without starving to death. So Gon still didn't kill him, though. Man, I would have killed him. Get him out of the way. It's Ja John Ken. You're right, you're right. Ja John Ken. It's still so funny that he got the name from stuttering. <laughs> like, what's the name of your technique? Uh, Ja John Ken? <laughs> oh, I get it. Like, Ja Ja. Owl boy and Batgirl? The owl guy looks kind of cool. I like him. And why is the chameleon following him? We'll find out in the next episode, man. Combination and evolution, episode 99. I really do like this owl guy. He's getting going though. Dude, getting attacked from both sides. Feathers in one leg, a scratch on the other. See, but he's picking up on the... That's good. He's picking up on the fact that if the owl throws feathers at him, that the bat's going to attack from the other side. Even though it's two versus one, these are still some no-name chimera ants. I believe in you. Focus on the sound of the bat's wings. Right after the owl attacks, the bat will attack. He's just tanking those feathers. Here you go. Oh, got her. Whoa, whoa, she dodged though. Ultrasonic wave. So she's throwing him off using the sound? She's freaking out though. <laughs> she's like, he's guessing the direction of my attacks. And his aura keeps growing, so my feathers literally aren't doing any damage. <laughs> Gon's a beast. Gon's a beast. They realize they can't do anything against him. Oh! Are we going to see an emitter attack? Is he going to do paper again? This is our chance. I don't think he's going to waste his ultimate attack on you. It seemed like he was going to do something crazy a couple episodes ago when he was showing morel son that he deserved to be here. I really don't think you two are who we're going to see it against. I feel like that's going to be saved for, uh, for Pito. With no wing beats. Oh, she's going to dive straight down? That's not going to work. Your wings aren't like the owls. I can hear you slicing through the air. All right, Gon. Batgirl's little nightgown's waving, but it's too late. Keep my motions minimal. Oh, wait until I draw her as near as possible. In the milliseconds that he's bathing her, this is wild. This punch will take a few milliseconds to land, too. I have plenty of time to fly away? I don't think so. Wait, what? He's throwing him off by screaming? That was smart. And now she's banging into everything because she can't see. Use paper to locate the others? Did it hit? Oh no, it bounced right off her? A rock. That's the owl? Gorilla mode? So he's half owl, half gorilla? They took Faye from Fire Emblem Heroes and Donkey Kong from the Donkey Kong Country series and boom, mashed them together. Knocked owl plus Funky Kong equals Chimera Ant. Harambe plus Hedwig equals Chimera Ant. I can keep coming up with gorillas and owls, but I feel like this bit has already run its course. <laughs> Ultrasonic dissonance, secret noise. Awesome animation there with the sound waves. The fact that the animation looks this good on a fight with some random Chimera Ants. Madhouse is putting in the work. Ooh, he made earplugs. Oh, he tricked him. He threw out a feather as bait. Of course, they started off as wild animals. From birth, they know how to conceal themselves. Yeah, well, you're a hunter, though. And you grew up in the wild, Gone. So you got this. I believe in you. If I don't keep up the go, they'll take me down before I can even find them. Even after being hit all these times, he's taking no damage. And the chameleon's just watching. He's scoping everything out. There you go, Gone. You got your earplugs in? If I use rock, I can defeat this one. But then the bat might run and warn the other ants. What are you going to do? Are we going to see scissors maybe for the first time? Oh, I guess we've seen scissors already, haven't we? Where he sliced that guy up. We've seen scissors. So what are you going to do? Rock, paper, or scissors? I'm just expecting any moment for Killua to come behind this chameleon guy and kill him. We Tron boys now? And I want to go play some Mega Man after this. The bat is directly behind me. There you go. A wall. <laughs> See you later, Batgirl. 
the real wall was behind me. One down, one more to go. Oh, he makes sure she's down. <laughs> he jumped up and then boom, pushed her into the wall again. Just to make sure. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, slid right out of the way. Team Owl's blasting off again. Bing. See, this is his real ultimate attack. Chameleon, dude, he has no idea. He hasn't seen whatever Morel has seen. Man, Killua has been putting in work alerting everybody. Bum, ba ba bum, ba ba bum, bum, ba bum, bum. Tito. Are they communicating via telepathy or something? Oh, no, no. I, I thought they were in two different spots. But they're in the same room. He's just playing the music. How I long to indulge myself in the delight of agonizing. It is the sweet trap of the thought process. Nothing more. <laughs> Meowth is like, huh? Nya, nya? When we were injured and on the run from hunters, you took us in. You even gave us instruction on how to use our power. It's time for us to return the favor. Someone's running around disabling my puppets. Can you kill them? She better say, of course not. There we go. Don't trust them. They're the ones trying to earn our trust. So they'll try hard to carry out their mission. It's possible they're looking for an opportunity to stab us in the back. Yeah, but you're the three royal guards. I think, like, you'll be okay. P2 emote when? Uh, I think it'd be at 600, wouldn't it be? I think it'd be at 600. If that's what you guys really want for the next emote, I could do P2. Or Pito. I keep saying it wrong. It's Pito. Ooh. That's a good tease. Man, that little APR tracker is handy. So wherever Chi2 goes, they could just follow. Colt's putting in that work for the good guys, man. Good for Colt. Wanji just gifted 20 subs of the community. Wanji, thank you. Thank you very much. 20 subs, bro. And Renblock gifted another five, dude. Thank you. Whoa, I'll update the sub goal, okay. Thanks a lot. The vice chairman's faction controls the review board. They're only giving work to hunters who agree to vote for him in the next, ele next election. Bro, what? Is Netero too old? So they're already setting up the next story arc while this story arc's happening. Clearly this is important. If we take out the king and five million people are already dead, we failed. We knew that and the chairman is... Oh, so he's prepared to step down already. So even if they win and five million people die, he's going to have to step down and there's going to be a new chairman. And they have to have an election for that? Phones have been ringing non-stop. Rumors of a coup d'etat are flying around. Now is not the time. The human race is about to be exterminated. He's talking, obviously, about them. He's talking about North Korea. I was like, wait a minute. No need for a coup d'etat with the chairman. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Uh-oh. Our beloved leader has an urgent announcement to make. All televisions and radio should be on. Anyone outdoors without permission will be identified as a rebel and punished. I ask that you not lend an ear to false rumors being spread. That you follow my instructions. This music track is great, by the way. The soldiers of my special forces will be visiting your residence to see if any rebels are hiding inside. Do not open your doors for anyone else. That was really fast. <laughs> It must be Killua and Gon. They weren't supposed to act. Did I just say Gon? Killua and Gon? The Chicago in me is coming out. Killua and Gon. Or are we reaching the end of the episode? All right, here we go. No problem. You can bring out tanks and fighter jets. I'll stop them all. I believe you will, Killua. Oh, new ending. This slaps. Who's the little octopus dude? Pito. Yo. What's going on with, with Menthol Wipe? This ending is clean! I love this! With the DNA strands? Who's that? With the bushy eyebrows? Who's that? This song, yo! Oh! I take back what I said. This is the best ending. This is the best ending. I really liked all the previous ones, but this one's good. I could find myself listening to this on my own time. I love this. Dude, look at all these characters! What's going on behind Netero? Is that like his ultimate attack or something? And who the heck is that other person? With the bushy eyebrows. I feel like watching one more. Oh, an anonymous donator gifted five subs. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Base dodge, huh? I should update that though. Hold on. All right, we are in the triple digits now. Episode 100, tracking and pursuit. Feels like just yesterday when we started episode one. Shoot looks uh, pretty scared right now. Don't be a coward, shoot. It's cool. Knuckles got this, though. At the last second, he ch suddenly changed direction. What? Don't bother. We can't catch up. 
Our opponent has a cheetah's speed. He isn't supposed to know how to deal with Zetsu. What's that gonna do? Look at your finger and put it up in the air. What's that gonna do? Oh, this guy! It appears these two are trying to ambush Chitu-sama. I warned Chitu before he ran into their trap. Was that unnecessary? He took a detour towards the capital and told me to thank you for the help. He owes me now. <laughs> Great lighting effects there with Gon running through the forest. It's weird of all the Chimera Ants that we started this arc with, it's weird. I did not expect Chi 2 to be one of the last ones standing. Or Simba, to be honest. I know his name's Leol, I keep calling him Simba. I should really start calling him Leol instead of Simba because then I'm never gonna get his name right. But I really didn't expect the two of them to last this long. And where's the, bro, we haven't seen the koala bear in forever. I wanna see more of the koala bear, he's a monster. I feel like they're saving him for a really good moment. Shower Poof has prepared a power tailored for you. He'll teach you how to use it and with luck, you can master it in a day. I'm a slow learner, so mine took me three days to get the hang of. What's this power gonna be? Turn, I swear loyalty to the king. I mean, that seems easy enough. Still has the tracker on him though. If he goes to the castle, bada bing, bada boom, they know where they are. One, two punch, it's over. Maybe not that easily, obviously. You gotta have a couple good royal guard fights. It's not gonna end in one or two episodes. <laughs> obviously, you're looking to retake the throne. Well, that's not gonna happen, Simba. I mean, Leol! God. Killua just leapt off that cliff like it was nothing. Go forth, soldiers of Leol. Capture your prey. Stampede? What? Oh, Armadillo goes back? Oh no, that's like a dung beetle. Is that a giant pile of poop? What? He spun that dude's head clean off. Removed his foe's head with his arms with one swing. He, oh! He grabs one, throws it to the other, uses the weapon of the one he kills, and takes out the other guy with it. Killua, quick work, real quick. Oh, he almost went in for the kill. Oh, that's totally a dung beetle. That's a giant dung beetle. That's actually really funny. Good work, Togashi, I like this. I like your sense of humor. He's the leader, really? He's a flea sniper? Yeah, how's Killua gonna get over there from where he is right now? Man, that's, that looks like it's doing damage. You should put a bandage on your head, Killua. The blood is running. He's leaking. He just charges up his snipe, lets it talk to him, and he's, when he's ready, he just goes, okay. It's kind of a cool looking gun though. That just looks like it's doing so much damage. Usually gunshots don't look like they do this much damage in the... Man! Put a bandage! Take some, like rip part of your shirt off or something. Cover your wounds. My fleas have a 200 meter vertical leap. What the heck? Oh yeah. I, it sounded like it grazed him a little bit though. It didn't seem like he dodged it. And I hope he was able to stop the bleeding somehow though, cause that looked really bad. Both of his arms and his head were just bleeding profusely. Oh, so he's a dragonfly. I was wondering what that Beetlejuice looking thing was. He's part dragonfly. Killua can't use N. Expanding his aura around him and maintaining it for a long time is by no means his forte. Killua knows this shortcoming, so he keeps his aura within the range he can best manage. A mere 57 centimeters from his body, not much room to work with, so he has to get out of the way immediately. This is pretty hype though. Dodge at point blank range. He's got it. Oh! But this time he didn't dodge. All determined the angle. He took a headshot? Just to determine the angle that the shooter's coming from? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I'm assuming he was guarding using Nen though. As if the other attacks were doing that much damage. But I was able to use N and Nen at the same time. I mean, I know, I know what I said, you know what I mean. No, he's bleeding. Dude! They secrete a chemical that stops blood from clotting. If I start bleeding in too many places, I'll be in trouble. You're already in trouble! You took a headshot! You took a bullet to the head! To figure out where this guy's coming from. I suppose this gives us more time to talk things over. When the queen was still alive, I was a squadron leader. It's nice to meet you. His eyes going in every direction. <laughs> you felt that I would put up less in the fight than Killua. <laughs> That's how he's taking it. To you, I'd look like an enemy. If there's any misunderstanding. Bro, gone. There is definitely such a thing as being too earnest. <laughs> Even the chameleon's like, wait, 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 well, you believe me? What? <laughs> All right, so I guess that worked. Tank and that hit definitely worked. Now he's Naruto running to go take out the sniper. This is a trap? You still want to come? Before he can even get in the hole. 
Killer was said, boop, two fingers, boop, there goes your brain. No hesitation at all. I'm impressed. Whoa, whoa! And a bunch of Barracuda Chimera ants? Yo! Pretty vicious way to die, getting ripped up by Piranha Chimera ants. Yo! What? <laughs> Killer's opponent turned out to be a parasitic Chimera ant resembling an octopus that uses human hosts. I didn't realize it was an actual human. I thought he was just a part Chimera ant. He's an octopus? So that was this little guy, this little octopus dude we saw in the ending all those episodes ago. All right, guys, we just met Captain Ikalgo. I think I'm saying his name correctly. He is basically an Octorok from Pokemon. I guess he was taking control of that human dude who was sniping Killua with the fleas. But now it's time for the final episode of today's watch through, episode 101. Like I said, it's still crazy that we're in the triple digits, but I am very ready to see where the story is going to go right now. This episode is called Ecalgo and Lightning. So, all right. Oh, Ecalgo and Lighting? I just immediately went to Lightning because Killa was here, but it's called Lighting. Maybe that's a Crunchyroll mistranslation? I'm not really sure. Regardless, Octopus Chimera Ant versus Killua. We're starting the episode in three, two, one, go. <laughs> he's, he's so weird looking. <laughs> Killua's not having it. I already like this guy. I need to find a new host or I can't charge up my next shot. I'll let the ortho siblings take it from here. Yo, look, <laughs> long time no see, eh, uh, no. <laughs> Kyle goes like, uh, supposed to be that way, uh. <laughs> no, we're still fighting, wait, what? He reminds me of the starfish from One Piece. Yo, I could have some octopus at Korean barbecue, that would be delicious too. I can go for some K barbecue right now. Oh, one of his little tentacles fell. <laughs> they're like, they're not playing games. <laughs> Look at his face! Wait, 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 wait! We gotta get him as an emo. Yo, we need that dude. Oh, bitch. This man! I can see in your eyes, I'm not gonna betray a buddy. One day I'll be reborn as a squid! Yo, Ikalgo! Salute for Ikalgo! That's an OG right there. Because you're a cool guy, he saved it because you're a cool guy. In different circumstances, we could have been friends. Yo! <laughs> you lowered your guard. Is Ikalgo gonna save Kill One now? I'll crush you and the rock behind you. Yo, Ikalgo, you got that, you got the gun. Do it. Pull your best octillery impression out of there. Hyper Beam, Energy Ball, whatever else octillery can learn. Water Pulse, Fighting Scumbag. Never mind, he doesn't need Ikalgo's help. I have no qualms about killing you. Yo! Oh! Slice the tongue right out. Bar double bull, what? Dude, we got the fish king from One Punch Man too. Whoa! A fish, but I'm not in the water. Oh, I thought it took out his finger. Wait, is that like, it's a harpoon fish or something? It went right there. Yo, Killua! How is he still alive after all this? He's been bleeding like crazy. What? How is he still standing? He has two darts in his stomach. That's this dude? What is up with all these Nen fish in this series? We had Crollo earlier using his Nen aquarium to bite that dude's head off. Now we got these Nen dartboard fish. Of all the weird Nen powers, it's weird that Togashi keeps going back to fish. Kill him! You gotta move, man. Yeah, you better get out of there. He doesn't even have time to Naruto run. Your power involves what? Darts. Oh, he's throwing at a dartboard and it's transferring to him? The great thing about our power is figuring out Figuring it out won't help you. My Nen fish darts have no physical form until the instant they pierce your flesh. That makes it impossible to block them. This has got to be one of the weirdest powers. I mean, it's doing tons of damage, dude. It's going... It's weird though because it doesn't look like it's actually creating wounds. Like you could see the, the dart fish going into his body, but then when they disappear... Oh, brother. Oh, I thought that was his girlfriend. That would make sense. That would be his sister. They both look like fish people. The, orth the ortho siblings powers. So the badge is her power. Once the badge activates, they're invincible. But if the brother misses the board with the final dart, that decides the game's outcome. All of the damage the target has taken will transfer to the siblings? This episode just like up the crazy by 11. Funny little talking octopus chimera ants and Nen fish darts. Killua being a living dartboard. Them being invincible until the final throw. This feels like a JoJo episode. It really does, Celix. 
It does. I get why you guys wanted me to end on this one, though. It's good. This looks pretty bad. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Now, there you go. Dude. He's been hit by so many darts. And he got shot by the sniper. The music's kicking in. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's it. Wrap it up. Killer was dead. Sienna Hunter Hunter. Wow. Wow. F in the chat for Killua. Liars make promises all the time. What's wrong with you, kid? <laughs> a promise is the one thing you should never trust. Wait, so you, were you lying then? No, no, no. I'm different. I don't lie. I only tell the truth. I'm starting to lose it. He's strong, but he's just a kid. If you're lying, that'll make things easier for me. I won't have to show you any mercy. Woo! Go. I'll be free to destroy you. His pupils are gone. The look in this kid's eyes. <laughs> No mercy, Jajan Ken. Cause how else, how else do you counteract that? If you can't sense the darts coming? Oh yeah, see he's, yo! Big headed, both of them. How are their heads still talking? How can you be alive with a dart sticking out of your brain? No human has reflexes fast enough to catch a dart. I mean, Killua does. It wouldn't have been possible had I not known where it would appear. Oh, he knew he was going for the head. I knew exactly where and when the last dart would hit. He was keeping track of where they were hitting him on his body? He was doing the math in his head and enduring the pain of every single dart? To improve his reflexes, Killua changed his aura to electricity. So when the dart touched his skin, the sensation didn't travel from his skin to his brain using the nervous system. At age six, I mastered the game. My body won't do what I tell it to because you've been bleeding out for three episodes, man. Maybe my theory is still going to be right, that he's going to restart his heart or something using the electricity. I, I don't know, though. But if you don't have any blood... <laughs> MVP Best Boy Taco. Yo! I know a secret doctor. It won't take long if we take the waterway. Well, you can't go in the waterway because there's barracudas. They're going to smell the blood. You know, after you told me an octopus... That I was a cool guy after you said we could be friends? I couldn't let you die. Fuck! Oh, they're taking a different waterway. Okay. Don't die on me. Wow! Wow! That's the end of the episode! The Squid Kid came through! Let's go, Ikalgo! Swag Gamer says the ants don't die until you squash their head. Alright, so those siblings aren't dead then? They're just gonna chill there? That is absolutely not how I expected that to go down. When this episode started, and we saw that he was an octopus at the end of the last one, I did not think by the end of the episode he would be saving his life after bleeding out from Nen fish darts. Crazy. Togashi's creativity level is over 9,000, bro. I, I don't know how he came up with that. Oh, they're only alive for eight minutes after being decapitated, so they are dead. We're not gonna see the siblings again then. Okay, all right, well guys, I'm going to end the watch through here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that like button. Please be sure to subscribe if you're not already. I will be back on Saturday with some more Hunter Hunter episodes. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye, everybody. And you know what? I mean, Ikal goes the GOAT. He's the best. He's the best.